Hello my beautiful yogasana community. I'm so happy to be back with the new vinyasa flow and this is my new home. I hope you are enjoying the view in the video. All right, let's start. Sit down in a comfortable cross-legged pose and which could be anything. It just should feel comfortable. Align your spine. Take a few deep breaths. And then with your next inhale, bring the hands in Namaste Mudra in the center of your heart. And let's chant Om Mantra together with a deep inhale. Om. Gently place your palms on the face. With blinking, open the eyes. Set your intention for the practice. Stay in cross-legged pose to start with the warm-up. Interlace your fingers with a deep inhale, raise the arms up over your head, coming into a seated Tadasana. And with an exhale, grab the right knee with the left hand, place the right hand back for the spinal twist. With your inhale again, raise the arms up, coming for seated Tadasana. And with an exhale, repeat the twist to the left and side. Inhale to raise the arm up again in the center, lengthening the spine nicely. Exhale to coming for the twist to the right hand side. Now this time without letting go of the right knee, just cross the left arm above the right one. Grab the left knee, rounding the back completely, looking down towards the chest. Inhale to release the right knee, raise the left arm up, coming for a nice side bend, lengthening the left side of your body. And exhale to place the left hand back close to your hip, coming for the spinal twist. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale to cross the left arm above the right one, rounding the spine, looking down towards the navel. Inhale to release the right hand and raise the right arm up coming for the side bend again, turning the chest towards the ceiling. And with your next exhale, bring the right hand down, release the hands and come into a tabletop position. Make sure that your wrist and your shoulders are coming in a straight line and your hip and knees are coming in a straight line. After coming into a tabletop, let's practice few cat and cow. So inhale deep into your cat and exhale long into your cow. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the chest out, look up. Exhale, tuck in the tailbone, round the back, look down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arcing the spine nicely and exhale to roll the toes in this time. Keep your spine arced and just push the knees up hip high into a downward facing dog. Feel free to practice any movement that your body needs here. Maybe just wiggle with the hamstrings or stay completely still in the pose. Whatever your body needs right now. With your next inhale, raise the right leg up straight into a three-legged dog and exhale to step the right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, raise the arms over your head coming into a high lunge, trying to sit deep into the pose, activating the back leg's thigh. With your next inhale, open the arms to the right side of the mat coming for the twist and exhale to place the left palm on the floor Press into the ground and sweep the right leg back straight into one leg side plank. We're going to stay here for three, two, one. Bend the right knee from here. Drop the right toe back, landing into your wild things. Opening the chest towards the ceiling with deep inhale. And exhale to place the right palm back on the floor. Sweep the right leg up into three-legged dog. 
exhale tap the right knee into your right upper arm landing into one leg plank inhale take the right leg back straight into three legged dog exhale bring the right knee in the center of your chest and inhale take the right leg up straight for three legged dog exhale right knee to your left upper arm inhale right leg up for three legged dog exhale to place the right leg back on the ground landing into your down dog and relax here for one breath with your next inhale lift the left leg up straight for three legged dog exhale to step the left leg forward between the hands inhale raise the arms up coming into your high lunge activating the back legs front thigh and with your deep inhale open the arms to the long edge of the mat to the left hand side and gazing towards the left palm staying here in the twist exhale to place the right palm on the floor press into the ground and sweep the left leg back straight into your one leg side plank pushing the hip high like you're trying to push the floor away from your palm from here bend the left knee drop your left toe back push the hip high landing into your wild things opening the chest towards the ceiling and with a deep exhale land the left hand back on the floor inhale take the left leg up again into three legged dog exhale to bend the left knee tap your left knee into your left upper arm inhale left leg back into three legged dog exhale left knee to the center of your chest inhale left leg up for three legged dog exhale left knee to the right upper arm inhale left leg back into the three legged dog with next exhale gently drop your feet back on the floor landing into a down dog and from down dog bend the knees prepare to take a jump bring the hip parallel to the floor landing into a active yogi squat for 5 4 3 2 and 1 start lowering your hip down towards the floor and finally landing on your bum we're not done yet we are going to activate our core so lift the legs up bring the arms in front and start lowering your body into a low boat pose making sure that the lower back is pressing against the ground and with the next inhale raise the legs up raise the chest up into the regular boat pose inhale again land into the low boat pose and exhale lift yourself up for the regular boat pose inhale down and exhale to up from here cross your legs release the boat pose and take a jump back into a downward facing dog letting your heels completely rest on the floor and with your next inhale gently drop your knees on the ground flatten your toes open the knees wide apart for your child pose and just land your chest and your forehead on the ground relaxing in child pose for few breaths with every inhale feeling the expansion in the back of the rib cage and with every exhale sinking deep into the floor letting your chest your chin rest on the ground with the next inhale raise the right arm up cross it from behind and try catching the left front thigh opening the right shoulder towards the ceiling inhale exhale to release the right hand back on the floor and raise the left arm up this time crossing from the back grabbing the right front thigh and turning the left shoulder up towards the ceiling with your next exhale gently release the left hand as well and from here walk your hands back with your inhale release the child pose relax your thighs 
Cross your calves and find your Shavasana Stiti on your back. You can place a bolster or cushion under your knees if you want to relax your lower back deeply. Make sure that there is some gap between your feet and your hands are not touching your body. Enjoy your Shavasana for as long as you need to. And I'll see you soon again with a new flow, with new energy. Thank you so much. Namaste.